Did you know you can upgrade your ticket to a season pass for only $19.99? That sounds about right. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I know. Why didn't why didn't we like think to bring? Come back and see Smash Mouth. <laughs> Look, I'm just disappointed that they didn't open the bathrooms outside, even though the park opens, like, the park literally opens in five minutes. The least they could have done is open the bathrooms a little early. Look, sometimes you just gotta pee, man. Yeah, this, is, this is a pretty funny park so far. And we haven't even made it into the gate. Nah. <laughs> We've been sat out here for, like, ten minutes. I do, like... Well, it is 11 o'clock, so the gate should be opening. I do like the entrance, though. It's a nice entrance. It's interesting. Yeah. It's a clean looking entrance, like. Very. Subdued. Pueblo Mexican almost. Yeah, I mean, like, it's it's nice, it's elegant, it's subdued. Oh, the line's moving. Yeah. I feel like there's supposed to be fountains in there, but they aren't going right now. Yeah, no. What's the plaque say? Good question. I can't To all who place. enter, to all that enter this magic place, welcome. Isn't that what Walt Disney said? Close. It's to all who enter this happy place. Welcome. <laughs> it's only mildly copyrighted French. Just a smidge oh, bit. <laughs> that's close. Absolutely no signs here. Well, except for this. Oh, no. Not the dragon boats or dragon. pirate ship. What What kind of... What, what's the name? I don't know. This is the exit. So uh, maybe it's that on... It's a tiny boat. It's a very tiny boat. It's a very tall thing oh, for such tiny. a small boat. That's, there's nothing over there. Yeah, this is a very cute little coaster. Like, I like the theme. I like the theme and going for it. Like, it's not a, like obviously it's not a lot of space, but they did a good job with this. Well, let's see if it runs. Well. Look at the look at this dude. Look at this dude here. Look at I that like dude. I like this. I like this. This is cute. This is cute. Where's that? I know, right? I'm a little bummed we had to walk through like the the tiny queue, but you know. Now the real question is, will it do one loop or multiple? I could see it doing two. I don't know, we'll find out. Not three. Oh, it's, it's doing multiple. Let's go. Alright, so what were, what were your thoughts on the, the Diamond Mine run? It was interesting. Um, we sat in the back, so um, we went over the hill super slow, and it kind of just jolts you. It down really to the does. Bottom. The thing that surprised me about those restraints, like it's such a weird restraint system. Like it's not bad, but it definitely, at least in our case, because we're it was just us in it. I don't know about you, but it really slid me back and forth on the seat. Definitely, definitely. That's not bad true. though. Like that, for a kitty coaster, pretty decent I quality. Over our kitty coaster. Oh, speaking of coasters, though, Big Bad John, Big Bad John. Oh, oh, I'm so hyped for this. The original River King. Look at that. Look at that. This looks like it's going to be fun. So hype. And I say, Big Bad John. This is slow. Yeah. It's jerky and uneventful. That's how I like it. Big, bad. How, how bad or big would you say Bad John is? I think it's it's John. Yeah, this yeah. is definitely a John of a ride. Yeah. Not like great, but. Feels like a John. It's a John. Well, I like the circular. Way they have it. I don't like that they have no markings for where the entrance or exits to these rides are. Yeah, that's not helpful. Okay, since you're not riding this, do you want to hold my hat? Sure, I'll hold your hat. Up you go. This is a very slow ascent. It's a drop tower, not a shot tower. Yeah, but you'd think that it at least like gets you up slightly faster than a snail. There he go. Up he goes. Why is this thing so slow? Man. You know, spend more time getting up to the top than you do getting down. Go! 
What do you think of the drop zone? It was good view. They gave zero countdown, so that was a little scary. But and the the stop when you're going down was immediate, and it hurt my pecs. Mm. Yeah. On a scale of one to ten, how much would you recommend that drop tower? Seven for the view, four for the ride. Okay, oh, yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Now, obviously, a ride like this, well, this is obviously a straight 10 out of 10. Uh, the only reason to be worse is there's only three of these freaking taxis. Uh, what makes it bad is the uh, gasoline fumes. Oh, yeah, I mean, that too, but like... Just like tomorrow in a speedway. If you're not getting high off gasoline fumes when you're driving your fake car, I mean, is it even a taxi ride? Uh, you know... For a scenic tour, I thought you'd see more to this place than just a side view of X2. There's another taxi. X1. X1? X1. I don't know my... California. I don't know my X's, man. I just know that X is a math equation. You gotta solve for it most of the time. You know what I always appreciate about those uh, antique car rides? What? You get off and your foot feels like it is literally walking on pincushions. Yeah, it's very vibrational. Vibrational indeed. Uh, four out of ten. Yeah, I'd say a three. There wasn't much to look at. I mean, it was a long ride, but like, no, yeah. Wasn't. Wait, hold on. me an actual entrance sign for once. Wow. We haven't seen one of those all day. Wow. X coaster. So are you staying out here? Yeah, I'll stay and watch this. But I can come up with you. Restricted area, keep out. Oh, this. You can't tell in the video, but this is actually huge. Not really. I mean, yeah, it's pretty decent I mean, height. It's intimidating. I'm just trying to. I'm like looking up at the top of the track, and I'm just wondering, why is it so thick up there? It is very big. Well, like, there's nothing supporting. I mean, I guess, but like even still, like I'd expect it to be like square, not long and rectangular. You know? I'd go on this if not for the fact that, well, uh, yeah. There's button one. There's the trainers doing their thing. You ready, Jacob? Nice. Well, there's your thumbs. Goodbye. No, I guess that's just locked. And up he goes. Up he goes. Up he goes. Upside down he goes. I cannot see anything. The sun's right in my eyes. Oh. And back he goes. Very smooth sounding. Not gonna lie, not how I expected that ride to end. All right, so what do you think? That was crazy. It seemed interesting. Was, you know, when it started pulling, I thought it was gonna go back up. As opposed, I to thought like, so too. And I was like, as opposed no, to like get, bring you down. Before. That hang time is insane. Well, I'd imagine you're literally hanging upside upside down on like the like a few seconds on the lift hill too. Yeah. Oh, that that's such a weird feeling. The thing that got me was the gates just aggressively squeaking open. All of the gates are like. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was... I'd do that again. Okay. Good for you. I'd do that again. That's good. Nice. Uh, on score 1 to 10. 8.5. Maybe a 9. Okay. I've, I've done better, and, but for this part, definitely that's a good thrill for a small budget. Makes sense. Good answer. I, I can see that. Alright, so of the four rides we've done so far, how would, how would you rank them? So far, X, then... Um, the tower. Okay. Uh, diamond mine. Big bad. Cars. Okay. I'm interested that you put diamond mine ahead of uh, Big Bad John. Big Bad John. It's like um, it. It literally is just the watered down version of the River King from St. Louis, and I'm used to that. This one was kind of boring. No, I, I I agree with diamond you on that mine one. Diamond mine had some 
Diamond Mine forces to it. Diamond Mine was surprisingly intro like it wasn't a bad ride. Nah, that's a like, good children's coaster. Yeah, and like the the theming on it, like it's not top tier, but like for this park it's pretty good. Yeah. I like it. it's cute. It's a very cute ride, and I think they did a good job with it. I think of the ones I've been on, because I obviously haven't been on X through the drop track, this one's probably like my my personal favorite for like overall experience. Yeah. We're taking on I think we're gonna try and take this one on next. This one actually has a line, which surprises me. Well it's a water ride. Yeah. Uh, it also looks like it's got a lot of people that it can take. Uh, I don't think that I don't think the the SLC is running. Uh, I, I at least I can't tell. Yeah, I see I see fences down there. So I'm not, I'm not totally bummed out about it. Just a little disappointed. But it's another credit. I guess, yeah. But it's another SLC. Which I don't like. Makes sense. So basically, if you knocked out X2, and then we both did Big Bad John and X1. Oh, sorry. X2 is in California. X. X. X squared. X to the power of one. So we did that one. We both did Big Bad John, and we did... Um, Diamond Mine. Yeah, we did Diamond Mine. But Arkansas Twister and uh, Gauntlet are both cool. We've technically done all the coasters in the park today, right? Darn. Okay. I still want to check. Yeah. Yeah. The aggressiveness of these restraints that I've been hearing all day is just. Mm. And the gates. <laughs> yeah. Quality Magic Springs experience right here. It's good time. Yeah. You know, just, just the right level of sketch to make you think, hmm, should I really be doing these rides today? And you realize this is the only way Arkansas can do it. Yeah. Oh, here it comes. I feel like most I feel like most of these rides are like that though to be fair like they look pretty dry I don't want to stand on the bridge after that nah not because I don't want to get wet it's just that the water feels disgusting you should you should definitely get a shot of the people on the bridge getting slammed we'll see if anybody stays on the bridge though I'm not I was oh gosh I mean you're not opening your mouth on that right? yeah no I mean, the ride experience itself wasn't terrible. The water quality is just questionable. Yeah, pretty much. Like, not a bad drop, not a bad lift. Just the water was the part that was like, oh, no, thank you. I feel gross. I need to shower from that. Oh, you can win a sign. You want a rock sign? Some of these... Look questionable. Look at this parrot. I think it's supposed to be like Lego bricks, but it just looks disappointing. Well, you can get beer. The beer garden's open. I see the Bud Light sign. I'm good. Yeah. Crystal Falls. Yeah, that water looks nice. I yeah, that water. I would definitely go swimming in that. Uh, shame about the water fountain not working over here, the water fixture. Next time I'll definitely bring bathing suits. Yeah. Because now, now I want to do a water slide. It's fine. Yeah, I know. We uh, we kind of set ourselves up for failure with this one. That's all good, though. We really need to buy a season pass. Upgrade to the season pass? Because it's $20 more, aside from the $50 that we spent for a whole nother ticket. Yeah. Oh, it's actually, that, that bridge has some sway to it. Bridge, yeah. I'm impressed. I like the Grizzly Creek. That's cute. Oh, I love the rope thing. Yeah, the rope thing with, like, the... the yeah, those are so much fun. The things you stand on. And then you have the little kids one over there. You can rent your tube. I'd say this is probably what most people go to, the water park. Oh, 100%. I'm sure the coasters are a nice add-on. Yeah. But, like, this is not a bad water park. Kentucky Kingdom. People in the area go for the water park. Makes sense. I think the slides down here might be closed, but I'm not sure. I can't tell. The more we walk around here, the more confusing I find this park layout to be. Like, yeah. there's so many dead ends. And then, of course, we're like right in the middle of the water park section, walking over to where the wooden coaster is. Yeah, one solid wooden coaster. On, on the, the opposite, side side, yeah. Park. There's so many things, questions. I, this, I have so many questions about this park's layout. I'm not, like, mad. I'm just very confused by it all. Down there, the Arkansas Tornado. Twister. Twister Lagoon. Oh, they got, like, the, the bull slide. Oh, that's my favorite. We really should have brought swimsuits today, man. Smash Mouth. Smash Mouth. Twister. 
Dang. That's a... That, that's a... That's a bummer. We can keep going down and see the ATM and the water fountains and the restrooms. Yeah. yeah. High thrill. I find it interesting. The ATM machine has a door. Somebody left their receipt. That's weird. Maybe it gets hot. Yeah. It's so strange going to a park that has Pepsi products. I'm still not used to that. My uh, water park near home, I believe, has Pepsi products. Great to do Okay. <laughs> what I find really funny is like, so we're over here by all the water park stuff, and it's like, we want to get to big, like, Big Bad John stuff. And then you just turn around, and you see them on the opposite side of the park. And you can't go through, so you have to go all the way around. Yeah, this setup is yeah. weird. I'll buy a beach towel while I'm here, see if they have one with their uh, the branding on it. Yeah, or if they got any t-shirts for Big Bad John. I would hope. Guy for I, I would gladly wear a Big Bad I'd probably 100% wear that ironically, but like a Big Bad John t-shirt, yeah. top tier. Honestly, the name alone is the part that gets me. It's just like, yeah, Big Bad John, and then you get on and it's just, it's mediocre. Yeah, it's... It, 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 it is neither big nor bad, it is just it, it John. It's around, definitely. It is, it is John. John is his name. Yeah. Jonathan, if you feel like he's being bad. Jonathan. Jonathan. Looney Balloony. Looney Balloony is a bunch of balloons that spin around and do not operate at all. This has to be Six Flags copyright. I don't know, man. The more I'm here, the more confused about this park I get. Like, it's not bad. It just... And we just have normal sidewalks through the woods, and you can just hang out in there. This park is just boggling my mind. Yeah. Well, it is family owned, so... Good for them. They are avoiding the eyes of bigger chains. Well, they're doing a great job at it. I can see why. Yeah. Tacos Mexicanos. I think this one's open is the thing. It's also really weird being in here because like you can't tell like what restaurants or like places are open or not. Is this open? I think so. It looks open. I'm so confused, man. I'm so confused. Yeah, there's a truck there. There's like a big old pair of shades that you can't see, like right there at the entrance. Some sort of palm trees. Yeah. What is the theme of this park? Arkansas. That's the theme? Uh, yeah. I guess the back entrance to this water park section is closed, but shame. Alright, well one more time. Big Bad John! Big Bad John! Big Bad John! I figured out my favorite thing about this ride. So the ride is called Big Bad John. The theming is you're visiting the Big Bad John Mining Company. Who is John? Why is, I think it's supposed to be like John Henry. I just want to know why he's ba big and bad. I thought John Henry was a good guy. So did I. I did find it absolutely hilarious that the ceiling fans are the uh, newest and nicest yeah. looking thing in this park. Yeah, but that one scares me with how... How much is wiggling? Yeah. Mm. Jacob has decided to ride X2 again. We just did Big Bad John a second time. No, not X2. X in California. X. X to the power of one. X the first. True X. Diamond mine. Somehow Big Bad John was more rough at the front than it was in the back, and I'm befuddled. Over here we got where the sky coaster would be. Uh, they have no strings or like ropes or anything on it, and the, uh, the pad for it is completely closed, which makes me think, this ride is entirely shut down, but they haven't done anything to actually like take it down, which is just... It's just so strange that it's just here, you know? I don't know, this experience has been about the level I'd expect for a Thursday. We spent like two hours here. It's been alright. It's been very interesting, because like, all the places we've been to, so many of these places have been closed. Like, that one I think was closed, that might have been closed, that ride was closed. All, this guy all the way over here, Twister was closed. I don't know, this has been an interesting day. I don't know. It's 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 a park. It's a park. These are actually kind of dope. Wooden keychains. No price tag on them, though, so I can't tell how much they are. It's dope. Of course, you got magnets. Oh, cool. I'd love to get like a sticker for like one of the rides, but 
the only ones they've got are the two coasters that were closed today, and we didn't ride either one. So, what did you think? It was, um... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was fine. We, just, we bought season passes is the funniest yeah, thing Yeah, well, that. they were cheap, so... Yeah, they were okay. cheap. Now we can come back and see Smash Mouth Smash for the low, low price of 20 bucks. For sure. The park itself, not terrible. I thought it was meh. Um, I think I think needed more stuff open. Yeah. Well, I think it would have been more fun for us, too, if we brought come prepared to do water park stuff. Yeah, water park's like, definitely the focus here. Yeah. So what would your overall ranking be for them? It's going to be, um, for the rides, X Coaster was definitely best. Okay. Um, Diamond Mine Run was pretty good. Diamond Mine Run was a pri- Why? I don't know why that was like the second. Yeah, one of the best coasters and in the park. The, At least that we did. The drop tower was good. It was forceful. And everything else was mid to bad. Yeah. Well, we come back probably. Yeah. See Smash Mouth? Definitely. Definitely. Smash Bring Mouth. swimsuits next time. Uh-huh. Yeah. For sure. Five, six out of ten? Four or five. Five point five. Four or five. Five point five. Let's get some food, man. Let's yep. get some food.